Hi, this is Reverend Cat. I have been um, thinking about this uh, rescue shaming thing going on lately and about how people are washing their hands of us who are advocating for or have actually participated in the rescues. I wrote three pages regarding that. This is the bottom line. I am post-abortive. In fact, I'm multiple abortive. Because when you have one abortion, more often than not, at least half of those women will yet get another one. Why? Because they feel useless. And they feel like they can't be of any value whatsoever. But I will tell you this, and I want this to resonate in your ears and in your heart and soul. When I went to that facility, drugged there by my mother, forcing me to abort, they told me that they were, I'm sorry, they told my mother, she told me, that there might be protesters with signs that we need to go in the back door. That was my last line of defense. Guess what? No one was there. Not one person. That's all I had to hope for and pray for was that. Had there been rescuers there, whether Red Rose rescuing inside of the waiting room waiting for somebody like me to walk in, or chaining themselves and blocking the entrance of the place so I couldn't go in there, we wouldn't be having this conversation today. I want you to think about that and how many lives were saved because people were willing to, to risk everything, including you know their job, going to jail, whatever it costs to have to do this thing, and maybe even you know their own families you know, disregarding them because of what they've done. They saved lives, and people who have been in this movement for over 40 years have been doing this all this time, you need to have respect for them and not make yourself into this pro-life leader. Everything's hearts and flowers. Because I've got news for you. That's why it's still a movement. And that's why nothing's been done. Because no one's willing to sit down in front of these places, to hand out red roses, and do whatever it takes. Civil disobedience? Yes, it is. You want to call us criminals? Whatever. The Bible told us we ought to obey God rather than man. Don't disregard God in this. Don't tell me that he wouldn't have been okay with this because then you have not read your Bible. Now, I hope that I made this clear because you know what? I have love for all of us in this movement. But if you're not willing to stop criticizing us, then perhaps you need to find something else better to do because you're of no value to this movement whatsoever. Now, I want you all to have the best day ever. I want you to go out there this week and save some lives because that's what it's about. Thank you for indulging me today.